everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica, I am an ex hanba I did Mary Kay and Beachbody several years ago, and because of my experiences, I've become extremely anti-MLM. Just as a disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I'm going to leave links to a ton of really good places to look. Uh, one of which is actually a girl who, she's part of my group, and she's basically spreading the word writing articles about anything anti-MLM, so I will leave all the links below. Today we will be chatting about new skin. I'm going to start off with going over the company, going over their income disclosure statement, and going over something really shady that they talk about, about their compensation plan and the model of their business. New Skin was founded in 1984 by Blake Roney, Sandra Tillotson, Steve Lund, and someone named Nedra McKell. Now they have since completely removed Nedra off of their website. The one thing that I was able to find about her, which basically stuck out like right away, on December 13th of 2013, now yes, this is a long time ago, and this was found on the Daily Mail, so of course it's just a news website. The title of the article, which I will post a screenshot, New Skin co-founder 58 harassed husband's alleged rape victim 18 to make her drop the charges. Now, when I read that, I can understand why they would remove her from the website because that's really messed up. I can see why you were removed from the website. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. This company is a worldwide MLM, okay? They have 850,000 distributors worldwide. The things that they sell are a ton of anti-aging stuff. It includes anything from makeup to hair care to you're probably seeing a lot of toothpaste recently. That's actually theirs as well. Vitamins, supplements, and a ton of other stuff. Really, the business is kind of all over the place and I can see why they're making a ton of money. I wanted to go into their compensation plan. This compensation plan does not include their starter kits. Now, the thing that really bothers me about the number aspect, the numbers aspect, so the starter kits, the compensation plan, that sort of thing, their business structure, is they actually tell their distributors that they cannot compare to a pyramid-like structure. They have to talk about how the ranks in the company are at two levels, which that right there seems a little shady to me, in my opinion, because even though they say that, they have multiple different ranks on their income disclosure statement. Now, this income disclosure statement is from 2018 and it's only for the US. This isn't considering everyone worldwide. The one paragraph states, the average sales compensation paid to US active brand affiliates each month was $151.34 or $1,816.10 on an annualized basis. In 2018, the average monthly sales compensation paid to U.S. brand affiliates who earned a sales compensation payment was $786.40 or $9,436.79 on an annualized basis. Note that these figures do not represent a brand affiliate's profit as they do not consider expenses incurred by a brand affiliate in the promotion of his or her business on a monthly basis, an average of 19.38% of U.S. active brand affiliates earned a sales com uh, compensation payment. There are 10 titles in this non-pyramid structure. So let's start off with the lowest ranking people of the two-part structure. And that would be an active brand affiliate. They make a monthly average of $37. Their annualized commissions are $444. Moving on to the next one, which is a qualifying brand representative. They make a monthly average commission of $120 and their annualized commissions of a little over $1,400. Now the 
tier that I guess would make, in my opinion, would make somewhat of a worth it income if it's just like a side hustle and if this was just my profit and not my income not includes not including expenses so for a gold partner they make nine hundred and three dollars a month which is an annualized commission of ten thousand eight hundred thirty six dollars the next worth it to me if it was a side hustle is lapis partner and they make a little over sixteen hundred dollars a month and that is nineteen thousand five hundred eighty four dollars in a year now the people that are making six figures are diamond director and blue diamond director diamond directors they make an annual income not including expenses a hundred and five thousand dollars and a hundred and five thousand forty eight dollars and blue diamond directors make four hundred and fifty one thousand one hundred and fifty two dollars in a year in order to make a ton of money you really need to be higher ranking in the company in this two form structure that they're talking about now it is a little weird that they only show two ranks because clearly by the income disclosure statement even though it's not even accurate whatsoever um, there are clearly more ranks that you have to be in order to make any specific type of money in this MLM now there are a ton of packages as a starter kit that range in the couple of hundreds all the way up to the thousands um, I'm seriously not going to go over these because I'm not going to bore you guys with this because there's literally a ton of them so I'll leave a link to their website let's go over some of the shady things that they're doing and some of the things that I have been able to find online there was a cease and desist letter sent from Stanford University to New Skin Enterprises Incorporated asking them to stop using one of their university's researchers name in all of their advertising because they were basically advertising that this particular researcher did all of the work on this particular product and they were I know that a lot of companies would like to have all these researcher researchers on their advertisements because it looks better for you but for a company to receive a cease and desist letter from a university, I think that's super shady. So I will leave a link to the full article below. Now, according to CNBC.com, um, New Skin shares plunge 14% as China crackdown hits revenues. So in July of this year, actually, 2019, their shares have gone down and China actually represented 33% of New Skin's revenue in 2018. So the reason why this happened is um, the Chinese government launched a 100-day campaign to crack down on illegal marketing, specifically in the sale of healthcare products. China represented 33% of New Skin's revenue in 2018, but the increased scrutiny on the direct selling industry resulted in restrictions on sales meetings, which ultimately hurt recruitment of new customers. So, good job China for cracking down on that, because these MLMs need to disappear yesterday. This is a legitimate source. It is the Federal Trade Commission's website, and in August, of 1997, August 6th to be exact, New Skin had to pay a $1.5 million penalty to the FTC to resolve their claims over um, their fat loss supplements and all that kind of stuff. Let's just read a little bit of the FTC's website. New Skin International Incorporated, the firm behind an international multi-level marketing system with thousands of distributors selling skincare products and nutritional supplements, has agreed to pay 1.5 million civil penalty to settle FTC charges over the fat loss, muscle maintenance, and other claims it made for supplements containing chromium picolinate and L-carnitine. I probably butchered that. 
The FTC alleged that Newskin could not produce adequate substantiation for the claims and that Newskin therefore violated a 1994 FTC order requiring the firm to have competent and reliable scientific evidence to support benefits claims for any product they sell. The FTC said this is the third time in three years that a firm has paid a civil penalty exceeding $1 million to settle charges of alleged violations of a prior commission order. So, what are y'all doing? There was an article that I came across and it was published on March 19th of 2019. And it is titled, New Skin Offers Condolences for Chinese Customers' Death. Now, I would like to send my deepest condolences to the family because this is actually extremely, extremely sad. So let's just go into part of it. First, we would like to pay our respects to the deceased and offer our deepest condolences to her family, the company said in a press release posted on its Chinese language website, adding that it had assembled a team to look into the incident. If there have indeed been unethical sales practices such as misinformation or exaggeration, we will not shift the blame. So if New Skin is actually genuine in that statement, um, I do applaud them that they won't shift the blame, unless if they're just doing that so that they don't get any backlash for saying anything else. But I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that maybe they were genuine. The statement followed a report earlier that day by news outlet Beijing Youth Daily detailing the circumstances surrounding the woman's death at the beginning of this month. According to the report, the woman identified with the pseudonym Lin joined New Skin four years ago and quickly became a dedicated supporter and seller of its health and beauty products. But in late February of this year, she came down with a fever. Rather than go to the hospital for medical treatment, she upped her intake of nutritional supplements and juice products from New Skin on the advice of her mentor as the company according to Beijing Youth Daily. She died of organ failure on March 2nd. So... That is incredibly sad to read something like that. If it was her own doing or if it was misinformation that was being sent to her, I know that a lot of people do try to stay away from the doctor and everything like that, but, um, and try to use natural ways of healing themselves. You really should go see a medical professional only because you never know. Like in this situation, she probably thought that she just had a fever and that it was just like a common cold or anything like that, but it obviously was something fatal. So I found out about this organization thanks to one of you guys who has reached out to me via email. Now the problem with this organization and what this person told me is that apparently some people that they have seen come across their social media outlets or platforms, whatever, have made claims that they don't get commission off of the affiliate links for this particular organization and the donations. Well, I'm here to tell y'all that not only do they get commission off of these links, according to the article, but they also, according to the article, they also receive a tax break at the end of the year. So in the beginning of the article, it talks about this woman named Christine Kipp. Um, just so that you guys know, this was published on November 7th of 2015, titled New Skin's Controversial Bid to Feed the Hungry. Now, according to Christine, she has actually gone to the specific places and handed out meals to the people that New Skin is saying that they're giving it out to. So. You know, since she has placed the, the meals in the hands of the, the people that need it, I'm going to give them a benefit of the doubt that this is a legitimate thing that they're doing. However, some of the back end stuff seems a little shady, in my opinion. So, um, let's go into part of the article. Since 2002, Newskin says it has supplied over 460 million meals to hungry kids in famished parts of Africa, Asia, and the Americas through an initiative it calls Nourish the Children. Because Kip has recruited other distributors to join her in donating close to 2,000 meals a month, she has received the title of Nourish the Children's Chief Ambassador. But make no mistake, Nourish the Children is not a charity. It's a business for new skin and distributors like Kip who are paid commissions and get credit toward their overall sales quotas for their Vitameal sales. They also get a nonprofit charitable donation tax receipt for any Vitameal purchases they donate to others. The company didn't answer our questions about Vitameal economics or many other questions about its anti-hunger business. 
So there's obviously a lot more to the article, but I thought that was the most interesting part. I understand that there are some organizations and nonprofits out, out there that are scams and are complete and utter bullshit. A lot of the ones, a lot of the well-known ones are not as squeaky clean as they seem to be when they're advertised on TV or advertised in stores, that sort of thing. So with that being said, before you ever donate to any cause or any organization, any nonprofit, I know that there are good nonprofits out there that literally donate most of their money and you know just make sure that they have something to pay their employees. Um, but some other nonprofits, literally most of the money goes to the staff and the CEO and a very small portion goes to whatever cause they're backing up. So I highly, highly recommend that you do your due diligence and research certain companies and certain organizations and nonprofits because some of them are more of a business and not a charity. So with that being said, um, I really truly hope that because they are helping children, I really truly hope that it is enough to sustain these people who are, you know, these children in all of these other countries and I hope that there is a huge portion that is going to them. Um, I know that these Hanbots do make commission off of it, but I hope that they're doing it out of the decency of their heart <clears throat> and not because of the commission, only because if you're that money hungry that you're using this to your advantage, I find that very sad. So I guess that kind of brings me to the closing part of my video. Um, I will say that please, please, please make sure that you're following me elsewhere because YouTube is unsubscribing some of my loyal subscribers that literally watch every single video. Um, so there's that. Also, I have decided that I'm going to switch up my posting schedule a little bit only because your girl needs a break. <laughs> What I do want to say is that Mondays and Fridays will be any anti-MLM related content. Wednesdays will either be a break day for me or it'll be something on a completely different topic. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know that it was kind of all over the place, but y'all know that I'm an organized mess. Um, so, but anyway, this is Monica reporting to you live from a highway. Bye!